A wildlife rescue group in Driggs says all wildlife is worth saving, and that's apparent in their latest project. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Rachel Cox Rosen met two certified rehabilitation specialists who played mom to some newborn rodents. Oh my goodness. You're looking at a newborn baby marmot, one of six rescued by the Teton Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. When we first got them, they were about a week old. They were nearly hairless, eyes closed, ears closed. And raising them has been no simple task. I think we need to order some other nipples. We needed to bottle feed them five to six times a day, so that was pretty exhausting. You have to make sure they're warm and comfortable and safe. And, and then you have to also stimulate them to use a bathroom like mom would in the wild. So uh, it was a lot of responsibility. The marmots were found on March 28th in a car engine in Idaho Falls. They were taken to Idaho Fish and Game and then to wildlife biologists Lindsay and Renee at the Teton Wildlife Rehab Center. No way would they have survived on their own. Um, the state agency Fish and Game can't rehab orphaned offspring, so we've taken them from the point of you're either going to die or humans are going to take care of you um, and to a point where they get to be wild animals again. That's the whole goal of the Teton Wildlife Rehab Center, officially established in 2015 and worked on for six years by Lindsay and Renee. I had this dream one night and I, I was like, we've got to start a rehab center and we've got to help all these animals. The group, which has about 20 volunteers, aims to one day in intake and release around 50 animals every year. For now, they're in the midst of raising funds and building a permanent building. We really want to create um, a facility where we could educate the public on how to reduce um, human wildlife conflicts and teach people how to coexist and provide um, a, a, you know, a sanctuary to get these guys rehabilitated and out back into the wild. But for these now 10 week old marmots, an injured fox and more, Lindsay and Renee have already made all the difference. Rachel Cox Rosen, KPVI News that works for you. Lindsay and Renee plan to release the marmots next weekend. If you'd like to help the Teton Wildlife Rehabilitation Center, you can donate to them as part of the 10 Cup Challenge. Visit cftetonvalley.org for more information.